Hello, I'm Martin. This is my son David. He told me of a, of a school project or a school assignment that they had to uh, make the Declaration of Independence and translate it into today's speak. Okay? Since people are so damn stupid, they can't read the original writing. I figured I'd help the lad with his assignment. <laughs> okay? So he will be reading the original. Okay? And then I'll dumb it down for you morons out there that don't understand. <laughs> so here we go. Best intro ever. Just speak loud. In Congress, July 4th, 1776, the unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America. So in Congress on July 4th, or 4th of July, in 1776, which is roughly, I don't know, what, 300 years ago? Yeah. No, not even that. <laughs> right? They said, everybody in the 13, 10, 3 states... Uh, they said they 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 were gonna say something. <laughs> okay. okay. You're done. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume the powers of the, to assume among the powers of the earth. The separate and equal station which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We're leaving New England. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by the Creator with certain unal unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We know this crap because we know it and we say so. That all dudes and dudettes <laughs> are, like, cool. <laughs> And that they're created by Gaia with, you know, the right to do shit. <laughs> Man, this is long. Yeah, yeah, we'll just do that one. All right. That to secure these rights... Governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it, and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form, as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence, indeed, will indict dictate that governments long established should not change should not be changed for light and transient causes. <coughs> That's right. Okay, this is a long one. Uh so that in order to do shit, we like <laughs> elect people to like make laws and stuff. And then, whenever they don't do what we want, we can totally get rid of them. Or we can, like, change it. Might as well just use what happened in World War Two. <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> but we can't do it because we don't like their hair. What? Yeah. <laughs> You know, this is, will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. Which means is that we can't change it because we don't like their hair. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And accordingly, all experience hath shewn... Shewn? Shewn. That mankind are well, disposed to suffer, while evils are sufferable. 
than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. Shit happens, get over it. <laughs> Man, he's faking. There we go. Well, I am one for stop. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations. Usurpations. That's why I said. I thought you said it wrong. I am. Go ahead. Pursuing invariably the same object with evinc evinces a design to reduce them under absolute depositivism. Despotism. Despotism. <laughs> Words. It is their right, it is their duty to show, throw off such government and provide new guards for their future security. The government is too corrupt and stupid. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> we can, like, get new people. Okay. Okay, rest of the surface. You know, like, where did you get the Declaration of Independence? We didn't sell it. Such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies, and is now, and such is now this necessity that which constrains them to alter their former systems of government. The history of the present king of Great Britain is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having right and direct object, object or object. All having in direct object, the, object establishment. the establishment of an absolute tyranny over these states. To prove this, let's let facts be submitted to a candid world. So, like, <laughs> England was not like, you know, uh, doing us right, and like, so we're gonna like totally tell you, okay? Read. He has refused his assent to laws the most wholesome and necessary for the public good. He didn't listen. <laughs> he has forget forbidden his governors to pass laws of immediate and pressing importance unless suspended in their operation till his assent should be attained, and when so suspended, he is utterly neglected to attend them. He doesn't listen, neither do his buddies, when we say something, and then he might listen, but he doesn't. He was refused to pass other laws for the accommodation of large districts of people. Unless those people would relinquish the right of representation in the legislature, a right inestimable to them and formidable to tyrants only. Taxation without representation. <coughs> That's it. Oop, hold on. Okay. He has called together. Legislative bodies at places unusual, uncomfortable, and distant from the depository of the public records for the sole purpose of fatiguing them into compliance with his measures. So, like, he says, okay, I'll totally listen, but you gotta go to, like, New Mexico, and, like, I don't have a car, and I don't have a bus ticket. You're turning into Valley Girl, or Valley Girl more than Surfer Bro now. I'm bisexual. Okay. <laughs> he has dissolved representative houses repeatedly for opposing with manly firmness his invasions or the rights of the people. He won't let us get together. Lord. He has refused for a long time after such dil dissolutions. To cause others to be elected, whereby the legislative powers in capable annihilation have returned to the people at large for their exercise, the state remaining in the meantime 
exposed all the dangers from invasion from without and convulsions from within. Huh? <laughs> he has endeavored to prevent the population of these states for that the purpose of obstructing the laws for naturalization of foreigners, refusing to pass others to encourage their migrations hither, and raising the conditions of the new appropriations of the lands. He won't let us do anything. Alright, there's way too much. Alright, we have to stop here. Yeah. It's like, we're like halfway done. No, we're like a quarter. Yeah, no, that's just not right. Here, we'll read, I'll read one name. From Georgia, we have Button Gwinnett. Button Gwinnett. Alright, thank you, Button Gwinnett, for Button signing Gwinnett, this. Button Gwinnett, he was the first dude in Georgia to sign this. Alphabetically. So there you go, there's your, your Declaration of Independence. Most of it. Yeah. In the future, we'll we be doing be. Shakespeare. Oh, God. Romeo and Juliet? Not you and I. Alright. Alright. Hope you learned something. <laughs>